will be demonstrating how to generate coil circuitry in the Coil Designer software. We will be demonstrating this using the tube and fin heat exchanger. We will arrange the tubes in a staggered convergent configuration and have six tubes per bank. All of the other settings will be left to their default numbers and units. If your default numbers or units are different, it will not matter for this example. Once the coil is generated, the tubes will be visible on the right-hand side of the coil designer screen. The simplest way to generate coil circuitry is to mouse over the tubes until they turn blue. At that point, click down and drag to the tube where you want to create a connection. Click again when the next tube is highlighted in blue and you will see a thick black line. This represents a connection between the tubes. If you would like the flow to go in the counter direction, after you make your first click, hold down the shift key and release when you connect to the next tube. You will see a dotted line as opposed to the thick black line and that will represent the flow going in the opposite direction. This type of coil configuration and coil circuitry generation makes sense for small coils or if you have highly intricate connections. For more general connections, go to the project tab, then click generate circuits. There are four general options here to generate circuitry, which are better for coils which have either uniform circuitry or are too large to do individual connections. The first two examples deal with counter flow, the last two with parallel flow. The first option deals with counter flow with a fixed number of tubes per circuit. The default for this option is for your inlet to be at the top. If you would like the inlet for each circuit to be at the bottom, you click this box. Clicking in the box again to uncheck it will return you to the default for the inlet at the top. Coil Designer will automatically calculate the number of circuits that are possible, given your inputs for number of tubes per bank and tube banks. Our inputs were six and four respectively, so these are the number of circuits that are available to us. We will select two circuits for this example. Once we've made our selections, we press OK, and the circuitry is applied to our tube. As you can see here, two identical circuits have been generated. If you would like non-identical circuits, return to the project tab and go to the next option. This option still deals with counter flow, but here you may have a variable number of tubes in each circuit. Again, the default is for your inlet to be at the top, but you may select for the inlet to be at the bottom individually for each circuit if you so desire. Here you are not given an explicit number of circuits to limit you. However, the number of tubes you enter in the tube count column as a whole may not exceed the number of tubes per tube bank that you inputted in the coil designer wizard. In our case, we inputted six. So we are going to do two circuits with four tubes in one circuit, two in the other. When applying our circuitry choices, we see that once again, we have two circuits, but this time they are not identical since one of them had four and one of them had two. The last two options deal with parallel flow. They will be visually identical, the only difference being that one flow is going into the screen and one flow is going out of the screen. When selecting in screen, you will see that all the connections between the tubes disappear and each tube is now designated as an inlet with the direction of the flow being into the screen. You may do the same thing for parallel flow out of the screen, but you will see no visual differences. Each tube is still designated as an inlet. The only difference is the direction of the flow because it is now flowing out of the screen. Because these look visually identical, it's very important to check that you selected the right one. You can do this by mousing over a tube. Once it turns blue, either right click or control click 
and you can check to see which parallel flow option you have selected. Here is also if you would like to change the individual st status of a tube from an inlet or an outlet tube. You may do so here. The final option for circuitry generation is also under the project tab. Here, you will click load or save circuitry. You have two options here, either to load an existing circuitry file or to create and save a new one. In the preview box will be the coil that you have generated and are running on your current coil designer session from the wizard. If you do not have existing circuitry saved on your computer, here is where you can create a circuit to save by using the click and drag method addressed earlier in this video. For simplicity's sake, we're going to just leave this simple circuit. We press save. Save your circuit in a place that is easy to find it, find it, and name it appropriately, then press the save button. Once you've saved your circuit, you press load. You can upload a circuit and whichever circuit you upload will be visible in the preview box. Once the circuit you want is visible in the preview box, press OK and it will be applied to your circuit here in your coil designer setup. For any further questions, please contact support at optimizedthermalsystems.com.